to another Green Marble Crochet tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm going to be taking apart this virus shawl, which I made using the uh, Mondial Brillantina uh, cotton metallic thread hybrid um, yarn. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm just I'm doing that because this isn't big enough. Um, and they're not stocking this yarn at the place I usually get it from anymore and I don't know if I can get it online because I've been really lazy recently and I haven't looked so it doesn't matter I'm actually really looking forward to turning this into a hooded cowl so yeah transitioning from winter to spring hooded cowl um, and this is based off my hooded beach dress tutorial so the hood that I made for that um, I am gonna do the hood in this particular tutorial I know that I usually say because I've already done a hood tutorial so um, I refer people to that instead of making the tutorial for the actual tutorial but this time I mean it's just it's a hooded cow so that's the point and I may as well just make it Hmm, seems a bit contradictory, doesn't it? So it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna make a hooded cowl. Uh, it's it's lovely. I've I've made it in a thicker yarn, but I think in a thinner, in a finer yarn, it's gonna be really nice. To just you know, if you live at the beach or if it's you know a little bit warmer, it's just nice, nice accessory to you know to match with something. All right. Um, Yes. I'm going to be using a 3.5mm hook. That's all I have to say. Um, we should just get straight into making it. Okay, to begin, we're going to take the end of our yarn and make a slip knot. So, making a slip knot and adjust the knot to the hook. Now make a chain of four, so that is one, two, three, and four. Now slip stitch back into the first chain, so that one just there. Put a slip stitch into the first chain, just like that. And there we formed our chain circle. Now from this chain circle, we're going to make a chain of 52, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, chain 52. Okay, here I am with my chain of 52, and what we're going to be doing now is skipping the first two chains from the hook, so that is that one and that one, don't know if you can see that here, that one and that one just there. We're going to be putting a double crochet into the third chain from the hook, so that is not that one, that one, but this one just here. So into the third chain from the hook, double crochet, so that's like that. Trying not to get tangled. Okay, let's try that again. So, for a double crochet, yarn over <coughs> and into the third chain from the hook. Double crochet. That's better. And we're going to be putting a double crochet into each chain all the way back down to the chain circle. So there'll be 50 double crochets. Alright. And I'll meet back up with you then and show you where to go from there. Alright, here I am, back at the chain circle. So I put a double crochet into each chain all the way back. And now I'm going to put eight double crochets into the center of that chain circle. So, yarn over and finding the center of that chain circle, which for me is just there. So yarn over through the center. Double crochet, so I'm going to do eight of those into the center of that chain. And three. So eight into the center. 
Alright, here I am, and I've put eight double crochets into the center of that chain circle, so that's what that's going to start to look like. Now, what I'm going to be doing is putting a double crochet into the underside of all those stitches all the way back down, so there'll be 50 all the way back down to the big, well, to the start of that row. So all the way back down to there, there'll be 50 double crochets, so into the underside of that stitch just there, so that's... one, and then moving on to the next one along, so beneath that stitch, and two, and then under the next stitch, so three, so that's what it should look like, and it'll go directly underneath that stitch. Just Here I am, I put my double crochets beneath all those stitches all the way back down, so there was 50 of those. Now my next step is to <clears throat> chain up two, chain up two, and turn the work. And we're going to be doing 50 double crochets again all the way back to where you put those eight double crochets into the center. So 50 double crochets so through the first stitch, where are we? straight into that first stitch, double crochet, and we're doing 50 of these all the way back up to the 8 double crochets into the center of that chain circle. So I'll meet back up with you after you've done 50 double crochets, and I'll show you where to go from there. Okay, here I am, back at the half circle part of the work. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to be putting two double crochets into the next six stitches. So, that's one double crochet and two double crochets into the same stitch. And that's going to be for the next six stitches. So that's one and in the last one, six, two double crochets into the sixth stitch. So just like that. And then working all the way back down to the other end. So there should be, what is it, 52. So 52 stitches, double crochets, all the way back down. Just a single stitch into each stitch now. For the next 52 stitches. And I'll meet back up with you then. And we'll see. Here I am back down the other end. Now my next step is to chain up two and turn the work. And put one double crochet into each stitch all the way back up till you get to the first of those double stitches into a stitch. So that'll be 52 double crochets all the way until you get back up to the half circle bit where there's that two double crochets into the same stitch. So all the way back up to there, working a double crochet into each of those stitches along, like I said, 52. Okay, here I am, back up at the half circle bit. Now what we're going to be doing is, we're going to be putting two double crochets into the first stitch along, so one and two into the first stitch, like that, followed by a single double crochet into the next stitch, so one single, then into the next stitch along, we're going to be doing <coughs> sorry, two double crochets into that next stitch. So one and two, followed by one single double crochet into the next one along. And we're going to be doing that a total of six times. So it'll be two, followed by one, then two, followed by one, then another two into the next stitch along. So one and two, followed by one, 
So I've done a total of three there. Then we're going to be completing six of those, six of those <coughs> increases. So I'll meet back up with you after the sixth. Okay, here I am, and I've finished those six increases. And now I'm going to be putting just a single crochet. Oh, sorry, a single double crochet into the next 50 stitches all the way back down to the other end. Moving on to the next row, we're once again going to focus the camera and chain up two. And again, we turn the work and we put our 50, 50 single double crochets into each stitch all the way till we get back up to the increase section increase half circle. So we've put in our 50 double crochets. Okay, here I am again at the half circle increase section. Now for this row, what we're going to do is we're going to be putting into the next stitch. So we've done 50 stitches up to this point and we're at the increase stitch section. So into the next stitch, which was the last of those increase pattern stitches, we're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch. So one and two. Then into the next two stitches, just a single double crochet. So one, and then moving on to the next stitch, and two. Then again into the next stitch along, two double crochets into the same stitch. So one and two. And then into the next two stitches along, just a single double crochet. So one, and then moving into the next stitch, two. So we're going to do that for a total of six times. So we've done one, where to go from there. Okay, here I have completed that increase for this row and you can probably see how the increases are taking shape how it's the pattern for the increases is emerging so as we as each row with each row we add an extra stitch between those two stitches into the same stitch so for the next row as you can probably guess it's going to be three stitches between the two double well the double crochet two double crochets into the same stitch for a total of six times so it's also it's always going to be a repetition of six at that increase section. So now we're going to put a double crochet, just one double crochet into the remaining 52 stitches of this. Okay, here I am at the end of that row. And now to begin the next row, we chain two and turn the work and put in our 52 double crochets all the way up into up until the increase section. Yeah. Okay, here I am at the half circle increase section. And so for this round, we're going to be putting, for the first stitch of the increases, uh, two double crochets into the... So we've done our 52 stitches up until that increase section. And now into the next stitch, it's two double crochets into the same stitch followed by a single double crochet into the next three stitches. So next one along is one, and next one along two, and next one along three. So three between each two into the same stitch. So for the next one, it's two double crochets into the same stitch. One and two. <coughs> followed by one and then moving on two and three then into the next one is two into the same stitch so one and two followed by one and moving on two moving along and three 
So there's three singles between the doubles. And then there'll be three singles at the end as well. So we're doing that for a repetition of six times. Meet back up with you. Um, but after you've done that, after you've done the two followed by the three, there should be 50 double crochets all the way back down to the end of this row. So remember, a repetition of six of those. And I will actually meet back up with you at the end of this row. And then we'll do the last of the increase rows together. And I'll show you where to go from there. For the next round, we're going to be doing the same again by chaining up two and turning the work and putting our 50 double crochets in all the way back up to the increase section. Okay, here I am at the next increase at the half circle increase section half circle increase. So to do that it's going to be, as you can probably imagine already, yep, so we're going to be doing two double crochets into the next stitch followed by moving along one and moving along two, moving along three and moving along four. So a single double crochet into those next four stitches, followed by two double crochets into the next stitch, followed by a single double crochet into the next four stitches. Um, and that's for a repetition of six times again. And then you're going to be putting your 52 double crochets into the remaining stitches back down to the other end. So this hood is a little different from the one, that's why I'm doing it again with you now, because this is different because I'm taking into account the size of the yarn, the, the ply is a lot thinner than the uh, yarn that I was using to make my hood from my actual hood tutorial. So for this hood, what I actually did was, well, as you know, there's 50 chains for the foundation chain, whereas with the hood from the hood tutorial, I think it's 30, 34, or 35 chains. So yeah, there's that. Um, but because of the size of the yarn, I had to do more. Also, um, for the hood tutorial that I've done, there's only three sets of increases before you start just deepening the hood. But for this, we've done four sets of increases, again, because of the weight of the yarn. So, yeah, that's it. But, I mean, still super basic. Anyway, we're going to go away. We're going to do that. So, like I said, the repetition of six times for the double crochet twice into the same stitch, followed by a single double crochet into the next four stitches along, repetition of six, 52 double crochets all the way back down to the other side. Um, and then after that, it's just a matter of chaining two for the begin or at the end of every round, turning the work, and just put a double crochet into each stitch going around, no more increases, until you've deepened the hood to, uh, you know, as deep as you want it to be. For me, I think it's going to be, including the rows that we've done for the increases, it's going to be 20 rows. So counting one, two, three, four, five, and then this round will be six, or this row will be six. So then I'll have, what is that? 14. Four, oh wait, yes, 14 rows left to do. But those will be 14 rows without increase, just to deepen the hood. And then, yeah, it's as simple as that. I'll meet back up with you after the hood is finished. And um, I'll show you what to do next to make the, the, um, the cowl part of the hooded cowl. All right, so meet back up with you soon and we'll see how our hoods look. Now that I've done my 20 rows and the hood is is deep enough, I'm hoping I've got enough yarn left to do the cowl part, but I'm sure it should be fine. Um, so what we're going to do next is, working straight from where we left off, we simply fold the hood in half and looking for, oh, looking for the top, I think it's the top of that, chain two on the other end, yep, so just there. We're going to slip stitch just into the top of that last stitch at the other end of the row. So just like that, I hope you can see that, hang on, let's focus. And into the last stitch at the other end of that row, 
this row. Slip stitching, just like that, just to join. And there we go. Now, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be working the cowl into the ends of these rows of the hood. So, because it's double crochet, we're going to be putting two double crochets into each end, into each row end. So, straight from where we are, we chain up two. Yeah. Where are we? Yep. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay, there we are. So there we are, just like that. And there you see, that's the bit we're going to be working into. So we've chained up two, yarn over, and we're going to put two double crochets into this first row end. So one, and then moving along to the next part, just there. It's pretty easy to see where you should put the stitch in. And after this row, it's going to be, you know, just typical normal rounds. Okay, so moving on to the next row end, we put two double crochets into that row end as well. Just like that. Oop. Then moving on to the next row end, two double crochets into that. And yarn over, and into that other space. Oop. Yeah, this yarn can get a little fiddly, but it's okay. And there we go. So there you go. So just two double crochets into each row end. So what is that would be, I think, 80 for me because there's 20 rows um, because we're, you know, obviously doubling that because um, we're folding the hood in half. So that's 40 rows. Um, but there's two stitches into each row end. So that's 80. 80 double crochets for me around, around for this particular hood or for this particular cat. Okay, so I'm going to go round, um, I'm going to do my 80 double crochets, and we'll meet back up, we'll join, um, and I'll show you where to go from there, but from there it's pretty straightforward, it's just going to be slip stitching into the top of the chain two, uh, chain up two, turn the work, uh, double crochets back in the other direction, but I will meet back up with you at the end of this round, and we'll, we'll do it together. Okay, now here I am at the end of the round. And what I'm going to do is slip stitch into the top of that chain two. So slip stitching into the top of that chain two to join the round. Just like that. Oh, tight yarn, tight yarn. There we go, so slip stitched. Now from there we simply chain up two and turn the work. And the reason I turn the work is because, one, I like the back and forth uh, repetition and continuity of the pattern it'll be the same as the hood and I also it the seam the seam won't drift to the side if you um, turn the work each time if you're going back and forth otherwise the seam will start to drift sideways which I don't particularly like all that much anyway so we've chained up two we've turned the work now yarn over and we're just going to be putting double crochets back in the opposite direction now, I never put my first double crochet directly into the stitch beneath that chain two. So that one there, I don't, I go into the next one along. Because, so, whoops, double crochet. Because you're always going to be uh, putting your last stitch into that slip stitch at the end. So you're going to work around and then your last stitch is going to go into that one just there. So once you get to that stitch, you're going to, slip stitch into the top of the chain two again, chain up two, turn the work, and just keep doing that until the cowl is as as wide as you want it as you want it to be, till you feel it's a good length. Um, for this I'm I'm not all that worried about the length of the cowl or how wide it's gonna be, because this is a sort of a spring a spring outfits design, so it's not it's not really doesn't need to be too deep and cozy. It's more just for the look, I suppose. Um, but it's going to be cute. I mean, you know, it can get a little chilly in the spring, and sometimes you're going to want to have, like, you know, something to feel cozy in. Um, yeah, so we're going to be doing that. Okay, so I guess all that's left now to do is complete the cowl, and then once we've done that, we'll meet back up again and we'll try on our hooded cowls and we'll see how they look. Um, I think they're going to look really cute. So yeah, I'll meet back up with you soon. Um, and I can't wait to see what they look like. Okay, see you soon.
really wanted to go to the beach and film myself wearing this at the beach, you know, something nice. Take some nice pictures, but I've been really lazy lately, so I didn't. It doesn't matter. A tree like this, it's not a problem. I am super happy with the way this has turned out. It's really, really cute. Really pleased with it. Um, and it was very quick to make. So, yeah. Again, I should have posted this tutorial like days ago. But I've been really lazy. I'm sorry. But I'm getting back on track, so it's okay. So yeah, here it is. Super quick to make, super easy to make. Um, yes. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'm glad I took the shawl apart and, you know, used this yarn to make this because I love the sparkly stuff. So yeah. And I'll wear this. I wouldn't have worn the shawl anywhere. Um, I've already worn this. I already wore it out in public. I actually tried to take some. Anyway, it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. Uh, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please like. Um, if, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Also, um, I've, I'm going to put a link in the description for my Patreon if you would like to help me um, to, uh, to support my channel. Um, yeah. Alright. Uh, I'll, I'll figure out other stuff to say about that later. I'm still working on that. Anyway, yes. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you've made a lovely hooded cowl. And we can all enjoy our um, uh, spring slash summer time cowl, hooded cowls, the beach or wherever. Mm. Okay, thanks for watching.